Hey guys, welcome back to another remodded episode. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you some of the different options that our launcher provides and how you can use them to switch up your gameplay or uh, your experience how you like. Um, so I guess one of the first things I should do is just show you kind of what it looks like, you know, if you were to use the standard UI. Um, obviously, most of you probably know how that looks pretty well by now. Um, we have our own UI theme that uh, we allow you to switch to if you'd like. Um, but comes default with Remodded actually, um, but you can always you know switch away from it if you don't like it. Um, but I want to show you some of the other uh, features and stuff that it'll provide. So uh, that's just a quick baseline to show you um, you know how it looked with the standard UI and some of the changes that we're going to um, you know bring to it. So uh, first thing we'll do is just uh, exit the game. We'll go to the actual launcher and I'll show you some of the options that it uh, provides. Um, so as I mentioned, you can change your um, UI theme, which we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, we're going to change it back to the default the modded UI theme for uh, our modded mod at least. Um, you can select your different player difficulty settings. Uh, sorry, settings. Um, and uh, this works the same as the in-game one. Uh, we just had this added before the in-game one was done, and this will just kind of force it from the uh, game level. So um, either way is fine, um, but we have that option. Um, we have the respec button here. If you want to use our built-in in-game character respec button, um, then go ahead and just uh, select that check mark here. Um, this map regen option will let you force regenerate maps. Um, so if you like that kind of online setting where every game you get a new map layout, um, then go ahead and check that. Um, if you'd like to keep your maps uh, like single player normally does, then go ahead and leave that unchecked. Um, for map layouts, um, we will have a separate video on this, but this will let you quickly kind of force map layouts and cheese some different, um, you know, easy waypoints and entrances and things like that for things. Um, but you can do that. And then obviously, if you need to change your languages for text or audio, be my guest. Um, but the real meat of the launcher starts coming in with our some of our additional options um, that are available in Ramada. So uh, number one is you can change your font. Um, so if there's other fonts that you might like for readability or for style or whatever, um, then we've added some based on request and you can just select the ones you'd like and uh, select the use font button to switch that. Um, I happen to like Exisit, but um, Formal, which uh, Blizzard also uses is also pretty nice. Um, but anyways, uh, we can also select different item icon options. Um, so uh, without a third party program, at least in soft code, there's no way to uh, have a loot filter in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, so we've kind of done the next closest thing, which is um, we've turned a lot of common items like keys, potions, scrolls, things like that uh, into small icons. So they don't take up so much of the screen. Um, you're just left with a little icon instead of, you know, a long blurb of text that says something like scroll of town portal. Um, so you can enable those options here. I'm going to go ahead and select level two so you can see what that looks like in game. Um, we do have a little help button here to explain those a little more. Um, for a Merc identifier, this is going to add like a glowing icon above your mercenary. You can select either the mini option, which just adds like a small triangle, or the full on display um, for readability purposes. I'm going to go ahead and select enabled and so you can see how that looks. Um, we do have a rune word menu in game. Um, if you've watched our previous video about our mod menus, you've already kind of seen a preview of that. Um, we can also select how that's sorted. So I'm going to select the by item type sorting um, so we can see how that looks in game. Um, we also have an auto backup option. So um, if you're experiencing game crashes or you're losing an item, um, we have had reports of people losing a storage bag or something after a game crash, um, then we do have a backup option. So it'll back up your last used character um, you know, at those specified intervals um, so that you can restore if you ever need to. Um, and then finally, at least on the additional options section, um, you can turn choose the standard or the merged HUD display. Um, so I'm going to select the merged HUD display so you can see how that looks. And uh, basically, we've, we've selected everything we wanted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the formal 436 font so you can just see that also. Um, and now we've changed all the different options um, to other things. So we're going to go back to home. We're going to click play. And now that we should see um, all of our different kind of changes have taken effect, we can see our font already um, has taken effect. Um, so you're going to see some of these changes. I'm 
All right, and some of the changes right away, you'll see the merged UI now, um, uses just kind of our custom graphics for the orb and stuff, and uh, just puts a new spin on, uh, you know, that to kind of condense things and make it a little more, uh, you know, uh, minimal. Um, finally, we have our uh, character stats page, we've kind of redone it, and now our advanced stats are shown in the scrollable list, so it's no longer taking up so much of the screen, um, and obviously this has been, you know, largely minimized as well. Um, same thing for our inventory page, so it just opens up a lot of the screen area so that you can still uh, do things as you're checking things out. Um, our mod menu, if we look at that now for our rune words, um, you can see that everything's split up by item type now, um, and so you can still look over and see all the different uh, rune word stats, um, but maybe you wanted to sort it by item type. Again, there are different options, um, so you can sort it by name, you can sort it by the required level uh, of the rune word, whatever strikes your fancy. Um, but that's how you can change kind of some of the different things. Um, you can see that our Merc now has that glowing icon above him. Um, so as he moves around, especially if you're in large groups, it's pretty easy to spot him now. Um, and some other things that have changed again, like our uh, item icons, um, you can see that, you know, different keys and stuff will have different indicators um, and icons. So instead of taking up so much of the screen, they're just a little more condensed. Um, so this will show you how you can just change some of those uh, options to um, just more closely adapt to what you're going for. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief tutorial, and thanks for sticking around to the end. Have a great day. Bye.